FIFLO provides two formulations for solving the mass transport equation, convective form and divergent form. These two mathematical formulations of the transport equation can be found under the problem settings dialog in FIFLO. This is under the menu edit, problem settings. On the left side of this window, you have problem class, transport settings, and you will find these two options, but also other different settings associated to the transport. Convective and divergent form. Both equations are physically equivalent. However, the convective form is more common to use and is also usually applied in practical modeling. They have different formulations of the boundary conditions, and this basically comes how these mathematical terms are formulated. The convective term or the divergent term, which is highlighted here with this red line. If you would like to get more deep understanding of the mathematical f uh, background of these formulations, I would highly recommend you to visit or to read the white papers. Let's bring a simple exercise to understand the difference of these two mathematical formulations. In our conceptual model, we have a 2D vertical domain. We have an inflow of fresh water, groundwater flow from the left side. This is prescribed by a fluid flux BC. On the right side, we have a constant hydraulic head BC of 40 meters. I have a deposit which is, which is injecting fluid and mass by a fluid flux boundary condition and a mass flux boundary condition. The systems consist in homogeneous properties and the values of these properties used for this numerical experiment as shown in the screen. Solving both the fluid flow and the mass transport equation in a steady state in fifth flow, immediately I will see a significant difference in the convective form and the divergent form. Convective form on the upper plot we can observe that the absolute concentration values are significantly larger compared to the divergent form. And these values are, tend to happen close to the location of the boundary conditions for the fluid flux or for the max flux BC. In terms of budget, if we observe the mass rate budget panel in fifth flow, we have two major components, Dirich and Neumann BC. In the dirich Levy C corresponds to the mass uh, to the hydraulic head BC associated to the right side of the boundary condition. In the case of the Neumann BC, this corresponds to the fluid flux and the mass flux BC in fifth flow. There is also an imbalance there in this calculation, and this term is significantly smaller compared to the other components, dirich Le or Neumann BC, therefore we can assume that this numerical imbalance is negligible and the system or the calculation could close the mass balance in this exercise. But we still have a significant difference on the Neumann BCs between the two cases, which we will try to understand in the next slide. In this second numerical experiment, we have reduced the fluid flux value by a factor of 100. What I can immediately see comparing these two options, convective form and the virgin form, is that the mass concentration, absolute values, they tend to be now similar. The convective form has a significant reduction of the concentration distributions close to the boundary conditions where the deposit is located. If we look again the array budget panel in fifth flow, we observe that the Dirichlet and the Neumann BC is still present, as expected, but this time the Neumann BC associated to the convective form of the mass transfer equation has significantly reduced the value from 3.4 before to a value 0.64 grams per day in this second experiment. This value tends to be now closer to the divergent form, which was unaffected in between these two numerical exercises. The imbalance in both cases are very small, therefore the imbalance there is considered negligible and the mass balance is considered to be close. Let's wrap up some of the observations that we have in these two numerical experiments. In the convective form, only the dispersive part is defined on the boundary while the convective, or also called advective part, remains undefined. Therefore, this, er, this clarifies the main difference on, on the Neumann BC 
when we decrease the fluid flux by a factor of 100. In the diverging form, the Neumann VC corresponds to the total mass flux advective and dispersive. Therefore, by decreasing the fluid flux in these two numerical experiments, we didn't see any effect of the mass flux being recorded through the mass ray budget panel in FIFLO. In conclusion, if you are working with second and fourth high boundary conditions corresponding to fluxes, you need to be aware about the different formulation of these boundary conditions if you choose convective or divergent form. In the case of the convective form, the boundary value that you specify on the second type or fourth time corresponds only to the dispersive flux. In the case of the divergent, divergence form, this boundary value corresponds to the total flux, both parts advective but also dispersive. So then, how can we solve or formulate the problem of mass injection in the system? The best that you could do in this situation is to use other set of boundary conditions. For example, I would recommend you to prescribe the mass concentration or the temperature if you are solving a heat transport problem by a first kind boundary condition, Dirichlet VC, and control the fluid part by a four kind boundary condition. If you decided to take the flux boundary conditions for the fluid part and for the mass transport part or heat transport part, then you need to be aware about the difference if solving convective or divergent form and of course taking this difference in your results interpretation.